the standard binomial expansion of 1 plus x raised to the power n is equal to c0 plus c1x plus c2x square plus and so on plus cn times x raised to the power n. Now set x is equal to 1, so the left hand side is equal to 2 raised to the power n and the right hand side is equal to c0 plus c1 plus c2 plus and so on plus cn. Now take the square of both sides, we get 2 raised to the power 2n is equal to the square of c0 plus c1 plus c2 plus and so on plus cn. This is equal to c0 square plus c1 square plus c2 square plus and so on plus cn square plus 2 times the sum of the products of the coefficients taken 2 at a time which is c0 c1 plus c0 c2 plus and so on. Therefore, the sum of the products of the coefficients taken two at a time, which is c0, c1 plus c0, c2 plus c0, c3 plus and so on, is equal to half of, in brackets, 2 raised to the power 2n minus, in brackets, c0 square plus c1 square plus c2 square plus and so on plus cn square. Let's call this result 1. Now again, the binomial expansion of 1 plus x raised to the power n is equal to c0 plus c1x plus c2x square plus and so on plus cn times x raised to the power n. Let's call this result 2. Now replace x with 1 upon x. We get 1 plus 1 upon x whole raised to the power n is equal to c0 plus c1 upon x plus c2 upon x square plus and so on plus cn divided by x raised to the power n. Let's call this result 3. Now multiply result 2 with result 3. On the left hand side we get 1 plus x whole raised to the power n times 1 plus 1 upon x whole raised to the power n on the right hand side we get c0 plus c1x plus c2x square plus and so on plus cn times x raised to the power n multiplied by in brackets c0 plus c1 upon x plus c2 upon x square plus and so on plus cn upon x raised to the power n. Now on the right hand side the coefficient of the constant term is obtained by multiplying the first term in the first bracket with the first term in the second bracket resulting in c0 square plus multiplying the second term in the first bracket with the second term in the second bracket resulting in c1 square plus and so on and the last term is obtained by multiplying the last term in the first bracket with the last term in the second bracket resulting in cn square. Now the left hand side is equal to 1 plus x whole raised to the power n times 1 plus x upon x whole raised to the power n and this is equal to 1 plus x whole raised to the power 2n divided by x raised to the power n. Therefore the coefficient of the constant term on the left hand side is equal to the coefficient of x raised to the power n in the numerator which is 1 plus x whole raised to the power 2n. And this is equal to 2n choose n. Therefore, equating the coefficients of the constant terms on the left hand side and the right hand side, we get c0 square plus c1 square plus c2 square plus and so on plus cn square is equal to 2n choose n. Using this result in equation 1, which is the sum of the products of the coefficients taken two at a time, is equal to half of, in brackets, 2 raised to the power 2n minus, in brackets, c0 square plus c1 square plus c2 square plus and so on plus cn square is equal to 
half of in brackets 2 raised power 2n minus 2n choose n. And this can be written as 2 raised to the power 2n minus 1 minus half of 2n factorial divided by n factorial square, which is the required answer.